Yeah. 
holiday season. Amen. All right, all right. Amen. We just we just live for Christmas, don't we? Just, yeah. just wait for Christmas. Don't we? Yeah, Christmas is one of the times that can be so despairing for us. Oh yeah, yeah, for us, for us. Yeah. But for the people of hope. Yeah, man. Amen. Christmas is a time that we shine like a diamond. Yeah. I'm not talking about Rihanna. I'm talking about we really shine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know we have some youth that's going to do some stuff today. I'm not sure in the order. After service, amen. So right now, we're going to kick it to the service. I'll tell you what we're going to do, y'all. I'm going to make this whole church a choir today. Come on, come on. <laughs> If somebody said, look at me to pray, but you know I can't see. I'm yeah. not worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you with your heart. So good praises to God. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going back to that part. Watch this. Say Okay. When she said, oh, oh, I want everybody to stand up and just shout out Jesus. Yeah. I'll point to you. I'll be waiting for you to just stand up and just belt it out, Jesus. <laughs> belt it out with your heart, like Jesus has blessed you, Jesus has carried you, Jesus has given you. Protect you. I want you to just build it out. Come on, stand up. Let's go. I believe that when you build this out with your heart, the Spirit of God is going to look up and say, I hear about people. Sporadic 
Whatever it comes, as the wind blows, I deal with the wind immediately. Yeah, yeah. Melody's telling Melody's like the weather man. I see the wind coming, let's get ready for it. But I deal with it when it comes. And so as we're coming here, Melody's taking care of the details. We're just hustling and getting stuff. And I'm like, I'm on it, man. I'm like, okay. I promised my wife to get the lights done. I promised to get, and I'm going to get them done. Griswold ain't got nothing on me. We're going to get this done. <laughs> And and the old man gets up on the second level of the house, scared as I'll get out. I cannot fall. I cannot fall. You talk about the power of words, I did not fall. Well, and when I finished, I'm like, okay, we gotta pack, we gotta go. You know, we got all this stuff ready, because my wife is a beautiful person. I, I love her the best. I, I, don't don't mess with her. Hmm. I'll just leave that as it. <laughs> <laughs> And we get here, I'm unpacking everything that she has detailed oriented for me. <laughs> and then it's time for me to sit and just spend some quiet time with God. Well, Amen. Amen. And when I go get my major instrument to have quiet time with God, and all the hustle and bustle and all the detail and all that stuff, my laptop is in Austin, Texas. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't say oh no. <laughs> that only shows you how God works. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I stood today and I'm like, Lord, what what am I going to do? And God said, do what you've been doing. Oh, this is going to be good. That's right. Listen, preachers, let me tell y'all something. Amen. I'm talking to preachers right now. Y'all are my. Listen, preachers, let me tell y'all something. You could prepare till the cows come home, but when God yeah. says stand in me, stand in me. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 Right. So, so listen to this. This is the topic that God gave me this morning. Y'all ready? Amen. When God wraps again. Yeah, we wraps again. Amen. That's all it is. When God wraps again. Yeah. The intricacy of wrapping a gift is mind boggling. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good. I'm an artsy kind of guy. Amen. He asked me to wrap the gift. I, I want this. I want the cement symmetry to be there. I want it all. And yeah, that's that's where I come into detail. But I want you to look at it and say, "Wow." Yeah. But when God wraps the gift, oh. when the Creator of all existence wraps a gift, Amen. Uh, you write about it. You got a couple of problems. Mm. All right. All right. If I pull one of the kids right now, man, and, and ask them, if I had two gifts sitting on the floor right now, one huge and one small, yeah. and I ask them, pick the one you think has the best gift in it, what do you think they would pick? The, the big one. one. <laughs> the big one. When God wraps the gift. <laughs> it's not about, it's not about what you see. That's right. It's about what you know about the person that's giving you the gift. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Yeah. yeah, I'm going somewhere. Just hang on in there. Y'all, I'm not shooting from here. This is, this, <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to, listen, have you ever received a gift from somebody that looks so fantastic, but when you open it, you were disappointed? Yeah. yeah. See y'all, y'all look at me. <laughs> I am not going to tell on my daughters. That's okay. Uh, well, I'm just, I'm, yeah. you know, it looks so fantastic. Have you ever gotten something that, that boy, the, the commercials and all that stuff, looked at it and told you it's going to be just great, fantastic. Yeah. And when you got it, had it for a couple of days, you were like, is there anything else left? <laughs> Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not talking about like white elephant gifts. You know, we purposefully go out of our way when we're dealing with white elephant gifts. We yeah. purposefully go out of our way to make bring something that somebody's not going to want. And we go through the changes of, of who's going to get the best gift and start trading and trying to get rid of the gift and all that stuff. I got a closet full of white elephants. I will not give you one of them. I'll make sure I give you one that, that to somebody I don't know. Yes. But God didn't give you a white elephant. Right. Amen. He took his time. He did. Amen. And he wrapped it up. Can I show you how much detail he put in the wrapping? Come on. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. When you go to chapter one of Luke. Amen. I told Satan this morning, you a lie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that. You trying to pick on the wrong person. The wrong one. <laughs> I'm definitely yeah. not the one. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. 
Amen. When you go to Luke, first chapter, and I'm gonna challenge y'all. You know, grannies, aunties, fathers, mothers, before you let a child open up one gift this Christmas season, sit them all down, open up your Bible. If you don't have one, borrow one from our pews. Better yet, take it and go home and read it. We'll get some more. But I want you to hold on to the book of Luke. The book of Luke is pretty detailed in its account. And when you go to chapter 1 and chapter 2, chapter 1 and chapter 2 is just so detailed about the, the gift wrapping that God Amen. Had. Amen. For the sake of time, I'm going to start at verse 26. Amen. Yeah. Are you there? Amen. Amen. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of who? David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Can I tell you this? As we go, let me preach as we go. Can I preach as we go? Amen. Thank you for permission to let me preach as we go. Look at the detail of Christ of God. Look at the detail. He is wrapping such a beautiful and phenomenal gift. He wanted a pure wrapping for the gift. And he finds a young person that has never been touched. That's right. Not only has she never been touched, but she has a little attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I know what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you already get it. You, you know what? Uh, well, baby, you know how I know this? <laughs> you already figured it out. There you go. Way better, Lonnie. I can't deal with it. <laughs> the attitude of a 17 year old yeah, is right basically. It's, it's true. Radical. It's true. Yeah, I preach you right. And it is basically, know it all. They, they, yeah. got, they got everything hey. going on for them. Well. Basically, they're rich out of your pocket. Yeah. yeah. And they, they, right. they, they got, it's just. Have you ever asked yourself that. how we straight from that? Yes. Yeah. 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 How we God. straight from that? Yeah. But yet God yeah. looks throughout all creation. Yeah. Mm. Throughout. And God says, that's the perfect wrapping yeah. mm. for a gift. Yeah. A gift to my own creation. That's the perfect wrapping. If God wanted to give you as a gift, mm. how would he wrap you? Mm. Talk today. <laughs> Number one, would you qualify? Yeah. Oh, oh. Everybody think you qualify to be a gift? No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. The only way you qualify is that you have already received Jesus Christ as such. That's right. Son of God. You, you, you got that, then you qualify for God to do some wonderful things for you. And believe me, every Christian, and listen to this, you need to believe this. Every Christian is a blessing to somebody else. You're a gift to somebody else. Every believer is a gift to somebody else. When you're doing what the Spirit of God said, you're a gift to somebody else. You, have, you know that God is talking to you, God is sending you to somebody, you're a gift to somebody else. God chooses you and God gives you all kinds of you're a gift. God wants you to go out there and talk to somebody, tell somebody about the wonderful things he does. God makes you a gift to talk about the perfect gift. Yeah, yeah. That's a gift. Can you trust you with that? Yeah. He talks to this little virgin girl. He sends an angel. He says, hey, I need you to go talk to her. <laughs> yeah. But y'all look at this. He already knows how she's going to respond. Yeah. And here's yeah. the beautiful part about it. And this is hot off the plate. God doesn't make you do anything. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. But God scowls the world and finds a young virgin named Mary. And he chooses her because her attitude is not only beautiful, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For what he's getting ready to do. Yeah. And we're talking about a gift that's going to come, that's going to save mankind. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. How beautiful is that? Come out. 
You ever saw a person that had physical beauty and inner beauty? Yeah. No, no, you. See, physical beauty is one thing. That all the brothers in the world feel you. If you yeah. have had any relationship whatsoever, you're drawn to physical beauty. Yeah. But once you start talking to them, oh, oh. Sometimes, sometimes you have to back that thing yeah, up. Yeah, I'm play. I'm play. I'm play. Yeah. The beauty of it yeah. is God already knows her heart, and God picks her as part of the wrapping, and He sends an angel to talk to her, listen to the words. The angel says, to "Mary, Mary was greatly troubled." Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Mary responds to the angel first. Mary was greatly troubled at His words. And wonder what kind of greedy. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's human. When God brings you a challenge, it's human yeah. to respond with, uh, wait a minute. But the more you trust God, Come on. Yes. something tends to take over. Okay, now here's your chance for confession. Here's where you really look at it. Has God ever challenged you and you just looked at God and said no? Mm. Confession is good for the soul. Yeah. I tell you what, I'll soften it a little bit. Has God ever challenged you and you turn around and say, let me think about it? <laughs> See, that, that's okay. Yeah. Brother Williams, that's okay. Just say, wait a minute, let me it's let me think. Here's our nature. Yeah. Here's the problem with it. You have to think in what you know about God. Mm -hmm. You have to use that as a criteria of your thinking. Yes. If you use you as the criteria of your thinking, then you'll always rationalize. That's right. And you will not be the present that God wants to send to somebody else. Come on. Here's God. Watch this. Here's God. When you refuse to be the present that he wants to send to somebody else, when he looks at you and says, okay, I'm going to offer you a chance to be the present. I want to wrap you up in a manner to give you to somebody. And you turn around and say, no, what God says, yeah, you can say no if you want to because i got a whole lot of candidates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. I have learned over my years of preaching and being in ministry that you don't tell God no. no that's right. Amen. I don't care how bad it feels, man. I don't care if, if it's troubling me and scaring me to death. You don't, you don't tell him no. <laughs> Because you can't recoup the blessing that he wants to give to you while he makes you a blessing to somebody. Talk today. Come on, Mary. Let's talk about it. Mary looks at him. Looks at the but let's be quick, man. Mary is troubled for a couple of reasons. Number one, they got an angel talking to her. Yes. And I know for a fact some of us are not ready to encounter angels. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let your let your imagination run away with you. Uh, you be looking at the angel like, uh, wait a minute, who am I talking to? My my sister gives my sister my my oh, my kid. I don't even know how to describe her. She is so full of the spirit of God. God allows her to see angels. Amen. Now y'all looking at me crazy. I know it. You know why you're looking at me crazy? Because you believe part of the Bible and not all of the Bible. All right. That's Come why you're looking at me crazy. Come on. Now, all through the Bible, God talks about angels. And you talk about that. Wait, wait, wait. I never seen one. Yes, you have. You just didn't know it. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes will man God will manifest the angel in glory and blow your mind. My daughter, my sister has a wreck and her car flips over on the side. And as she flips over the side, my daughter, my, my, my sister is a large person. And she, she says she looks up. And in the sky, she sees this being that is so large, just huge, just taking over the sky. And the next thing you know, she's out of the car. Y'all, y'all, y'all missed that. Huh? She gives a testimony of how she's about to do some dirty stuff. She's mad at her boat. She's mad at her husband and she's about to engage in some dirty stuff and she walks in the house and in the house she she walks in and she hears these words as if somebody's right there talking to her saying Mary don't you do that she said I was startled at first I was just startled I was startled she said and I thought well no let's just and then she get ready she said it like she said it said it loud don't you do that and it scared her so much, she looked around the room and she decided that day, oh, no, no. She knew. You see this stuff in this Bible? 
It is real. It's real. It's real. It's real. And it can happen to you. But your mind has been so full of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have been inundated with the world. And even with Christmas, we're inundated with the trappings of Christmas that we forget how God created a gift. Mm -hmm. And what God did to make the yes. gift and to wrap the gift to make it presentable to you. He talks to a virgin girl and the virgin girl, listen to this. She's troubled, but she keeps on going. She doesn't take off running like Mary was greatly troubled at, her, at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, what? I want y'all to all say what the angel said to her on the kind of You got your Bibles in Look yep. at look at verse 30. I'm going to read the first part. After the common use, read the other part. Ready? Amen. But the angel said to her, Okay, I want everybody to, I just want everybody where you are. You don't have to stand up. Just start clapping. Thank you for favor. Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you what favor looks like. Let me tell you what favor looks like so you know. Come on. Favor looks like you have encouraged beyond your courage. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Favor looks like you're ready to step out on faith for what God is telling you to do. Come on. You see, God is not going to give you a challenge unless he believes that Hallelujah. you, can, you yeah. can have enough faith to step out on it. Yes. Now, so when he challenges you, he's telling you, hey, you got enough faith. The question is, do you believe your own faith? Mm -hmm. The question is, do you believe what you read in this Bible? Everybody, listen to me carefully. Please give me a testimony. Shout back at me. If you believe every word in this Bible, just shout back, I believe. Yeah, I believe. I, I don't, I, see, I have a problem. I want you to really shout, I believe. If you don't believe, just turn around and say, I'm wondering. Yeah. Wait a minute, neighbors. Don't you dare intimidate the ones that's wondering. Yeah. God may make you a gift to talk to them to help them exactly. develop their faith. Right. So I want you to declare, I believe everything that's in this Bible. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. I believe. I believe. You have to. That makes you qualify. Yes. That disqualifies all of your errors of your past. Mm -hmm. That puts you in a position where God can use you beyond your comprehension. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Mary is there. Yeah, Mary don't quite understand, but she doesn't store faith in you. Yeah, the Bible yeah, teaches you that if you just ask for some oh. faith, God is going to just pour it into you. Yes, you need does. some faith. All right, if you need some faith right now, say, I need some faith. Oh, Lord, yes. yes. Stronger faith. Stronger, yes. Stronger, stronger. Conceive and give birth to a son. Yes. Yep. Ladies, here's your chance to testify. Hmm. Hmm. Sister Cotillo, here's your chance to tell the story. <laughs> when you first found out you were pregnant with your first child, what words came out of your mouth? <laughs> okay. Some people are chuckling. I, I get it. I understand. Here's a, here's a little key to your pastor. You know how my wife found out she was pregnant? I told her. She didn't know. You all got it like that, Brother Wayne. I, I, again, to this day, I'm still mesmerized by how God keeps on wrapping what he poured into me and how he uses it. And I, I didn't understand. Robin, I didn't understand half of it. And to this day, I watched my wife give me two blessings. The last time I saw it give me a blessing, I was like, okay, that's too rough. Lord, that's just too much. I'll get in details about that later. But what God gave to the wrapping of Melanie Irish portrait, who became this, I cannot measure the gift. Do you have gifts that God has given you through your lifetime that you cannot put a price on? Amen. Amen. You can't convince me of that. You just didn't say, uh huh, uh huh. If that was the case, you'd be shouting all over the place. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, God has given me some gifts that I just can't. I can't. And here Mary is. She's about to receive the gift of all gifts in her. And she's going to be the wrapping to mankind to help mankind have a chance for salvation. Amen. Thank you. How beautiful is that? 
you shall receive, conceive, and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. I, I need y'all to shout out, just shout out Jesus for me. That's good news. I need y'all to just Jesus. shout out Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. for me. Jesus. He will be great. Yes, he will. And will be called the Son of the Most High. Mm, yeah. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Yes. And he will reign over Jacob's descendant forever. His kingdom will never end. Will never end. That's right. That's it. Will never end. Again, Mary does the humanistic piece. She's got the information. And she does the human thing. Mm. She asks the question, how will this be? Mm. She's not asking the question to, to challenge God. Yeah. It's human nature to read the Bible and see the words and say, well, how could this be? Mm. Melanie and I have been in ministry forever, and Melanie will still come to me and say, no, I read it, but help me understand what's happening. Yeah. It's okay to ask God for understanding. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to ask God, how can this be? Mm -hmm. But don't ask, ask it in the sense of God. How can this be? Because I want it to be done and I don't want to mess it up. Mm. That's a whole different how can this be? Mm -hmm. She's simply looking at it and saying, okay, but I'm a virgin. I don't know how I'm going to have a child. She's not saying I don't want to have a child. She said, I, I, I don't even have a man. Yeah. Mm. Lord, that's another hot topic that yeah. I'll let Minister <laughs> Jones deal with. <laughs> the, 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 the fact of the matter is, She's talking to an angel. The angel says she's going to have a baby. The baby's going to be great. And she's saying, how could this be? God is looking at all of us and said, I got great things for you. Yes, sir. Yes, I want to birth a whole lot of stuff in you. Yeah. Come out. I, I got blessings that's going to come out of you. I, I told the woman at the well, living water's going to come out of her. Yeah. My, 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 my. I, t I told I told a man sitting by the side that 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 lost the legion of demons. I need you to go back and talk to them. Come on, yeah. come on. God is not through with you. You are gifts too. But the greatest gift was wrapped up in a virgin child to be right. given to all That's mankind. Right. Come on. Amen. Come on. But it was the first of many gifts to come. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. My kids, we have been so blessed. Look, we have been so blessed. You have no clue how we that our kids have woke up to every Christmas having numerous gifts under the tree. Not like me that was that was in the projects and mom and dad doing the best they can. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes if you sometimes. had a gift, it was fantastic. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes dad had to cry and go buy one of those little dollar toys. And yeah. say, I'll do better next time. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. I have found out with my kids, I'm finding out by my grandson that all those gifts are great, they're mesmerizing, but there's always one. There's only one. That grabs your attention. Yeah. Yeah. For every Christian, this gift should grab your attention. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Right. It's the prototype of what God is doing with you. Mm. And so, let me finish this because we have other things to do and I don't want to be too long. Listen. Go back to verse 31. You will continue 32. 33. 34. There we go. 30. 35. I don't have my glasses on. The angel answered the Holy Spirit. Wait a minute. The Holy Spirit. I'm going to say it again. Because y'all, again, we have a tendency to want to kick this to the curb. The Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. He's real. Can I get over here and say it? It's real. Yes. yes. The Holy Spirit. Come on. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to come over here. I don't want to leave y'all out. The Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Will what? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, come on. Yes. Why? The Holy Spirit will what? I'm letting it saturate, Doc. The power of the I, I want you to really hear what I just said. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm letting it saturate. That's all right. The Holy Spirit will what? Come upon you. Come upon you. It's the trifactor. Mm. It's the plan of God 
the initiation of God and the power of God. It all yes. comes together. Yes. And look at it. He doesn't give her time. He just says, it will. It will. How many wills have God given you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. The promises that God has given you. Yes, Lord. I will never forsake you. Ooh. Yes. I will be with you. Yes. I will grant you power. Yes. Every time he says that, what he's declaring that I'm going to send my spirit. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. And it's going to get it done. Yes. 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 It's going to get it done. I, I'm saying this, and I'm telling you, and I really want it to ring in your ears. If you don't believe that the Holy Spirit is acting and doing today, you've got a serious issue. Yeah, yes. And watch this. I go all the way back to the angel talking to Mary, and Mary receives it. Mary says, it's okay. It's good. Touch what she is actually saying, let your spirit do whatever it needs to do. That's right. And when the spirit comes and connects with you, yeah. it is so powerful. That's it brings right. you all the way back to Genesis 1. Yeah. That in the beginning. Yeah. You want to know why you ran across one knucklehead after another knucklehead? Another, another because you, you had, let the spirit mess you up. I mean, you let man mess you up. You, yeah. Okay, stop. Slow down. Get too fast. Listen. <coughs> Everything God plans for you is a wonderful gift, and he wants you to have it, and he wants you to experience it what he has for you. And every time he wants you to experience, you must believe in this son, and you must believe that the Holy Spirit is going to come and manifest itself in a manner to get you to the next level of faith. Amen. All right. Amen. The church gets stuck when it doesn't believe that. Yes. I believe in the salvation of the son, but I do not believe in the, the sanctification by the Holy Spirit. That's right. Yeah, y'all looking at me strange. You know what sanctification is? The one God keeps making you worthy. Yes, sir. God keeps changing you. God keeps making you and making you ready for the next challenge. Yeah. God talks to Mary. Mary receives it. And she said the Holy Spirit is going to come up on you. And watch this. Look at this. Listen to this. What did I leave off? I left off verse 38. 35. Look. 35. I'm going to read it. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, thank you, Holy Spirit, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Come on, come on. Y'all, I'll explore that with you some other time. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is her, is in her six months. Yes. Yeah. For no word from God will ever fail. Is impossible. Listen to me now. You, you see, look, look, God said, not only am I going to do this, but I'm giving you confirmation that I'm doing it. Mm. Yeah. See, that's one of those things that happen to you. God tells you I need you to do this. God gives you confirmation it's going to happen. And you see, you're looking for it. I'm waiting on the Holy Spirit comes and make it happen. Boom. It's done. But it's not, I'm not over with yet because you need to hear this peace. Verse 38. I am the Lord's servant. Talk, talk today. Mary asked. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her, right? Amen. I am. I am. God's servant. God's servant. If you see what I'm doing right now, look. This is what the church didn't do. Mm. Come out. Instead of declaring I'm the servant of God, the church been backing away. So hmm. leaning on its own understanding. Have mercy. Oh, Have, mercy. Mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Instead of charging towards what God is telling them like a yeah. servant. Yeah. Absolutely. The church has gotten comfortable. Yes. Yes. Within the walls. Yes. Instead of standing boldly, I am God's servant. Mm. The church sing wonderful praise music. So harmonious, it's beautiful. Make your hair stand on your head. And then when we leave, mm. it's still saying I'm God's servant. The, if they get together and say, I can't come back no more, it's okay. We get together and we have a Christmas meal. 
And after the Christmas meal, we go our separate way. Mm. The word is supposed to pierce your heart. If you feel a pain right now, you should. Mm. Because God said, I need some servants. Mm. Not ones that will back away, but that will charge forward. That's right. So I can pour my spirit upon them. Mm. Right. And I can bring them to new heights. That's right. The community should never affect the church. That's right. The church should always affect the community. Come out. Come yes. out. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. yes, sir. Amen. You thought this was going to be a feel good sermon? <laughs> no. Can I tell you about Rocky? Have you ever back the paper how it feels when you rip it up from its throat? Mm. It hurts. Have you ever asked the tape? What happens when it's displaced, pulled off, torn off, and then caused to stick onto something that it may not want to stick on? Mm. Have you ever asked the box that you put get together, you start folding it, that twisting it, just folding it? It hurts. But there's a joy in the pain. Yeah. Especially when the hands of God is the one that's ripping and tearing and putting together and folding and right, right. shaping. Amen. Because when you become that present, mm. what God pours into you, you'll never experience mm. unless God did it. Yeah, yes. right. And when it opens up and comes out, there's a joy that comes out. There's a peace yes. that comes right. out. Yes. There's a long suffering that comes out. Thank you, Jesus. Church, Church. I need us to have a merry spirit today. Amen. Oh, I'm not talking about M E R R Y. Don't, don't, don't get this twisted. If you don't have a merry attitude, M A R Y, you'll never get a merry attitude, M E R R Y. No. It's not enough. Don't start just, oh, well, wait, wait a minute. It's my seasonal visit to church. I come to church on Easter. I come to church on Christmas. I come to church for weddings. I come to church for funerals. No, 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 no. Spirit of God said it's time that you just start coming and be my servant. I want to touch you. I want to hoover over you. I want to come. I want to play to you so much stuff that I want you to be a blessing to everybody you encounter. You either gonna be a blessing or a curse. That's right. Don't, 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 don't be mad about. I mean, don't, don't think that wrong. It's okay to be a curse to those that are enemies of God. It's okay for God to turn around and give you the words and say, "Hey, I rebuke you." Amen. Amen. Now don't do it like some of us false no, Christians do. No. <laughs> I rebuke you because I just don't like you. Mm. No. Let the spirit move you. Amen. The spirit has a way of telling you what to say. I'm over time, Dick. I know it. I get it. But I had to say these things. Right Maybe that's why he told me to leave the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> we can no longer be passive. We have to have the attitude of merit. We have to turn around and say, God, whatever you want to do, I'm whatever. ready to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, watch sir. the gift. Watch the perfect gift. Wrap. Watch how he wrapped. He wrapped this gift. He started by getting a virgin. He wraps the gift. Ripping her away from society. Knowing he's putting her in a dangerous situation. Understanding that her beau, her fiance, might not understand this. But God, when he raps, he raps perfectly. Not only did he start rapping her, he rapped to him too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, he did. He's a he's a perfect gift giver. Yes, he is. He tells him, hey, listen, don't you don't don't miss don't get this twisted either. That, that's my servant. I put it in there. You make sure that you and Joseph hears and Joseph makes sure. Yeah. And from that, look at this. A virgin. And a brother that should have been jealous, he brings a gift to mankind. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. If you are wondering, we're, you. we're going to part two next week because part two is very important. Part two tells you about this that even when you have the perfect gift, the enemy is there to try to steal it. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's right. You know, that's a whole different story. We'll talk about that next week. Right now, I just want you to say, I want to be the gift. Amen. But you can't say, I want to be the gift if you never received the gift. That's right. That's right. If you're in here right now today wondering about your relationship with God, if you're in here today 
wondering about the things that God has asked you to do and you've been struggling with it. If you're here today and you have figured out some things that you're just having a hard time believing all the word of God, be honest with yourself. And before you say, I'm ready to be a servant, I need you to tell God, God, I want to be whole with you. This is what I'm telling you. I want to, I've accepted, you've got a plan for my life. I've accepted that Jesus is my salvation. Now, God, help me to accept your spirit. Because you got some pain to go through, but there's a whole lot of gain that you don't love. Amen? Amen. I, I, I'm done. I'm not even going to the cross. <laughs> we'll go to the cross next week because you got to go there. Yeah. We'll start from the manger to the cross, but right now, it's time for us to put up a shut up. Yeah. Right now, today, yeah. it's time for us to really think about the true Christmas. That's right. This package that God has given you, mm -hmm. perfect package. Yes. And what's in it? Mighty Counselor, Prince of Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that today? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna go no further. I feel you saying, oh, I'm, I'm losing. You losing. Those of you that want that today, you ready to stand up and accept the challenge that the Holy Spirit's gonna bring upon you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pray before you answer that. Then I'm gonna ask you simply like this. If you really want the challenge that the Spirit is going to bring up on you, because it's going to happen, I want you to stand where you are, grab your neighbor's hand, and say, I'm ready for the challenge. Look at your neighbors and say, I'm ready for the challenge. See, see, I'm going to give you, okay, as a teacher, don't, don't miss any instructions. I want you to stand the day, grab your neighbor's hand, and tell them, I'm ready for the challenge. Don't don't lie, because the God will make God a show that you lie. Quiet, y'all not in here. <laughs> Fathers, if you're a father today, I want you to say I'm ready for the challenge. Mother, if you're a mother today, say I want you. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready for the challenge. If you're an auntie, a cousin, if you're any kind of relative, I want you to say I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready for the challenge. If you're male or female, say I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm going to pray in the challenge that Cleo's going to come and play some music. And then I'm going to ask for another prayer. A prayer that's going to make us worthy vessels for the Spirit of God. Amen. This Christmas, it's not about the gifts you're going to give to somebody. It's about being the gift Amen. that God Amen. intended you to be in the first place. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you for your spirit coming and moving upon this place. I thank you, Father God, because we know that we need to be bumped, stumped, kicked, prod into doing the things that you want us to do. I thank you for being tolerant with us. I thank you, Father God, for letting us be some sporadic Christians. And now, Father God, you call us to come on with it. Would you touch the hearts of those that made the declaration, Father God? And help them to start seeing, Father, than seeing. And when they see it, Father God, Give them an attitude that won't dispel it away, but the determination to embrace it. Make us, Father God, a change agent in this community. Through your spirit, Father God, guide us to all the holes and cracks and crevices where the roaches would like to stay. And Father God, let us be that entity that drives them out. The battle is not over, but it's definitely won for the battle is yours. We ask this our son, Jesus' name, amen. 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 Be seated, think about it for a minute. If God tells you to come on up here, come on up. Come on.
so been faithful. God's got a purpose, and I know He's able. Blessings, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Yeah. God, we realize it was not because we were so good yeah. that you even allowed us to see the day, yeah. but it was because of your son yeah. and his sacrifice that he came right. all the way from right. glory right. to die for a sinner yeah. like me. Yeah. And God, I thank you for that. Thank Father, I thank you that we're in our right minds today. Yeah. God, the world is in total confusion, but God, we thank you that you're not confused. God, you're not the creator, you're not in the parts of what goes on with the world. But you are the creator yes, of the world. Yes, God, you made a good world. So some bad people are in control. But God, we thank you that you're yet taking care of us. You're yet yes. looking out for us. You're yet protecting pray, us pray. in spite of it all. Yes. God, you didn't declare in your word that we should give you thanks in all, for all things, but in all things. Yes. God, we realize yes. that we're in something now that we've got to come thank out of very soon. And it's because of you that we are. 
You declare it in your word that we should always pray and not give up. God, we don't have a give up, draw back spirit. But God, we have a spirit as well as a mind to run on and see what the end is going to be. So God, this day, we ask that you will cover and protect your people. Keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. God, and as we prepare to leave this place, but never from your presence, we pray that you will bring us back with songs in our mouths, praises in our hearts, and victory in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 So listen, as we go and get ready to do our stuff, uh, I'm a, I'm, I want to I want to do this right quick. God has already forgiven you for spending too much money for Christmas. <laughs> Amen. That's if you ask Him to forgive you. But you know we get carried away. This is what I want to tell you. Enjoy your holiday, but listen to me carefully. When Mount Olive comes back, we're girding up for battle. It's, it's no longer time for us to sit back. I'm telling you, we're girding up for battle. It's no longer for us to turn around and say, we're going to have church without being in church. We're girding up for battle. When Mount Olive comes back, we're going to sit down and strategically talk about how to go into this neighborhood and make changes. Can I, can I share this with you? Whether you like it or not, change is coming to this neighborhood. Amen. Yes. Amen. And if God's people don't stand up and do what God's people are supposed to do, yeah. you're not going to like the change. Oh, yes. You see, when God blesses you with something and you take care of it right, God gives you more stuff to handle. Oh, yes. But when you don't take care of it right, hear me loud and clear, oh, God yes. takes it away. Amen? Amen. So I want, to, to, I want you to do this for me, please. Make sure some kind of way that I have your, if you're concerned about the community and want to go to battle with us in the community, make sure that I have your information, hallelujah, and we're going to sit down and strategically talk about going out there and getting rid of the stuff that stole our kids. I, I, I'm a transplant here, but I've dealt with a lot of families that have had kids to go to prison that got stuck on drugs. And listen, we need to cut this out. God's people will be like David this year. Amen. You don't be like Amen. David. Cannot, Goliath can't stand here no more. He can't. I mean, people going to get mad at us. I already know. Family members going to get mad at us. Oh, I already know. But God is saying, if my people, my people. who are called by my name, yeah. will humble but themselves and pray, and pray and turn from their wicked ways, yeah. then he's going to do what? Yeah. And I will hear from heaven. Yeah. And what? Yeah. I will what? Yeah. Heal? Heal this land. Well, I'm not going to heal this land, right? right? We need the spirit to be poured out upon us. Yes, sir. We need a healing. I'm, I'm through preaching. I'm, I'm done preaching. But I'm telling you, it's not business as usual. Amen. 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 Now, we have a wonderful program coming up right now. Please do your offering and let the kids enjoy our Christmas program. Amen. The only knock we have right now is that we get ready to have a youth program. Amen. Go ahead. Okay, we'll do that later. Almighty God, we thanking you for that message this morning. Thanking you for the gift of life in Larry. That is a gift of life for all of us. Lord, we ask you to bless each and every household that's represented here today. Yes. Whatever they stand in the need of, we lift it up to you right now. And then, Lord, when you finish with them, and you have a little time left, bless this offering, bless the ones that gave, bless the ones that desired to give but had not, and may it go to further your kingdom, because everything belongs to you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's a great day to be in the house of the Lord once again. Amen. Well, this morning we have the. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, everybody know my name is Liz and um, Sister Hayes, and we work with children for the Amen. Christmas for their Christmas program. And I will be the worship leader. Amen. First, we will have our welcome by Sister Juliet. Amen. 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 I want to bring a greeting to all of you today. A special Christmas greeting. So this, I have to say. It's because Jesus came to earth that each year we celebrate his birth. Okay, we will go on to the recitals. Our first one will be is called Cheer, and this will be with Audrey, Destiny, and Friends, and this is also an audience participation. So let's all get into the spirit, and these ladies are going to lead you through this, okay? Amen. All right. Yeah, one more. 
from the day of birth. Amen. Amen. The bride is yellow like a crown of gold, promised to our believers for centuries old. Jesus, our Redeemer, born to the strife, a shining star and a crown of gold. Christmas candles shining bright bring hope and peace this Christmas night. Shine in faith forth the love from Jesus who cares the world. He's always there. Now, 
Well, if you give us just a moment while the girls set up for your special music presentation, okay? Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive our King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven in nature sing. And heaven in nature sing.
Thank all you guys that came up here and did your recital. The, the, the younger guys, they were great. Uh, really, you guys were great. You guys, another one coming? All right, come on. All right. Come on. You don't never want to leave one out whenever they want to piss me. Brother Bryson, thank you back there, man. I didn't leave you out. I didn't see you back there. And so all you guys that came and participated, we thank you. For the girls that came out last night, I, I was picking them up at midnight, and making pizza and, wow. and doing. So you guys, we thank you for coming. Those are Destiny's friends. Those guys be at Amen. Bible study every Wednesday. That's why I'm not here now. I'm running back and forth between me and Dante, taking her to Bible study and picking her up. But all those guys be at Bible study Amen. every Wednesday night at First Baptist Church of Junction. So I just want to let y'all know that they're not just out there in the yeah, streets. Yeah. They are still doing stuff that behind the scene for God. So I just wanted to let the, let the church know what's going on with them. So uh, Trinity has been here before. She was our neighbor. She's been here a few times with Destiny. Madison's been here it was last week, a week before that. And Caddy, it was her first time. Thank you, Caddy, for coming. And all you guys on the front row, especially you, man, I'm going to get you a plate for me. <laughs> Thank you again. And for the parents out there, you guys deserve a hand just for getting them here Amen. and helping them and letting them know what God wants them to do. Amen. See, it's you guys that... If you train up a child, that's what the Bible says. Yeah, if you train up a child, when he gets old, he won't stray away. So for what you're doing, you need the hand, right? Yeah. Amen. 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 And that concludes the Christmas presentation for today. But I also want to let you know, whenever we're in the back, check out Sister Sister uh, Destiny's. Second place picture is really, really good. It's back there on the wall. So if you get a chance, just check it out. Amen. 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 Minister Jones. I got you. Go back so, to the So uh, Minister Jones getting ready to come and give a cult and prayer. She'll bless the food as we come. Amen. What? Stand up back there. Give me your faces. Give me all kinds of great faces. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, 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 in my wife's role, she's able to access a lot of stuff for y'all. We're not going to know, know the fact that we're in a, in a time where there's constantly pandemic threats and stuff like that. So, we have access to, to COVID testing kits for your home and stuff like that. We'll make sure anybody that wants them, we, we can give them to you. Those testing kits uh, you might have to be used before January. Uh, if After January, throw them away. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have masks and stuff like that that we want to give out to people. So make sure you come by and see Melanie. She's over distribution of that. I want you to stand and give a hand to... Uh, I need... Thank you. 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 Well, if he's in there, come, right, right, come on up here. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 
I want y'all to know Malachi has a tendency when she when he, when he is grandfather voice, his behavior changes. <laughs> okay. no, stay right on the side of your brother. Okay. Y'all give him a big leap. Come on. Y'all gave me flashbacks of when I wrote music for all these different instruments. So come stand up here. We call them praise winds. I'm going to call y'all praise winds too. Come on. <laughs> all right. Y'all give praise winds here. Come on. Yay. Yeah. You know they're going to be killers, right? Amen. Now, parents, yes, y'all, you got a job. Here's your job. Don't let the world take their <laughs> gifts and use their gifts in the wrong way. Just Amen. I'm a band rap, so I love y'all. Just don't trust me. <laughs> yeah. Would you? Who was singing? Would you come up with? I'm talking to mom and dad. Oh boy, y'all have blessed me. Amen. 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 Sister Cleo is not gonna be here next weekend. No. <laughs> oh. so maybe Amen. I, maybe they could come and play some more Christmas music for us next week. Amen. 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 Yeah. Like, what Because she's an overachiever. She said, I ain't read nothing. I'm gonna memorize it right now. Amen. Listen, we're glad you're here. We got food prepared in the back. Minister Jones, get ready to give a closing prayer. Don't forget, we have these things. Listen, God is in control. Yeah. Obey the law of the land. Do what you can. And let God handle everything else. That Amen. makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Amen. And as God provides for us, don't neglect it. Just take it and say, well, if I need it, okay, I'll have it. But if I don't need it, okay. It's all good. I'll throw away at the proper time, right? Go back there and eat. Fellowship with the kids and Merry Christmas, everybody. Come here, honey. <laughs> Isn't she cute in her raise? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just saying, we're just saying it's the holiday season. We have a light service next next Sunday. Uh, we have these little nativity scenes, yes. That we want to give the kids that they can make at home and have on ornaments sit on their table. Amen. And we're grateful for what God has done this year. Next church service will be a lot of singing, a lot of reading from ministers and stuff, and a lot of singing. So come and join us. No Wednesday night tonight. There will be no 12:30 next week. This is the last one for the next couple of weeks. Okay. So we want you to enjoy your family, but please. Do not neglect the one for the reason of enjoying Amen. the family. Amen. Set some time aside and be with your family. Make sure you read about him. That's Amen. right. Amen. We got some work to do. We need him on our side. Amen. 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 All right. God bless you. Come on, Mr. Jones. Amen. Jesus, we all come. Give you your praise and thanks for what has happened today. We pray, Father God, if we would, if you would continue to bless us in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Continue to bless the food in the name of Jesus. Lord. We love you in Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. 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 Amen.